Hi, this is Tim. I am back with another video. This time I'm doing a retro review. I have got my hands on, well, I've actually had my hands on a mini SNES or mini Super Nintendo for over a year now, but I haven't got around to showing it to you. I'm not going to bother doing an unboxing. Now, this is a kind of different version of the uh, mini SNES because it's actually one I got off eBay. It's an official mini SNES but it does come with some extras. So it's got a load of games preloaded and it's also got the NES games or a load of NES games on it. It's about 400 to 500 games, maybe more than that on it. Um, so it's got SNES and um, NES games on there and I'm gonna show you some of those in a minute. So I just thought I'd give you a look over of the console. It's actually pretty well built. Like I said, it is the official one. Um, you can get cheap Chinese ripoffs, but um, yeah. I avoided getting these and I paid about another £20 or so to get the games loaded on it. The um, controllers are actually very, very similar to the original Super Nintendo SNES controllers. Really tactile, really well built. And you get the console, you get two controllers um, with the official pack as well. And uh, what I've got on here is, of course, a USB stick. That's got all the SNES games on it. When I take that off... Um, and just uh, turn it off, take it off, then uh, I get the NES games which are preloaded onto the console itself. It's actually really well built and it comes with a SCART lead there and you also get a connection lead. The only My only complaint really is, you can see my connection lead, it's actually pretty short. It's pretty short. That's my only real sort of um, quibble over there, but you can get longer leads, so it's not a big deal. And it cost me around about £90. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the games. I'm going to try and... Uh, I've got my TV loaded up. There we go. Let's see if I can turn it up a bit. Okay. So I'm just going to sc scroll along and show you just a few of the games we've got. Um like you can get these um done by someone pretty cheap or you can do them yourself but i think i said i think i paid about another 20 25 pounds on top and there's just a whole load of dragon quest games fatal fury earthworm gym and uh, if i scroll along and then hit here you'll start to see you'll get me in the background unfortunately you'll see i've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's about between eighteen and twenty SNES games on each one, and uh, yeah, there's basically buckets. So if I just show you a few more of the games, there are some um, Japanese translated ones on here as well. I don't think that's a Japanese translated one, Tales of Fantasia. It's got loads of great RPGs. Um, but yeah, there's a few um, Japanese, uh, there's all the Turtles games, Terra Enigma, another great RPG. There's a loads of, um, like I said, well, maybe about half a dozen translated games. And um, there are a few um, quirky ones where it's got kind of um, rip-off versions or modded versions of Mario and uh, also got modded versions of Super Metroid as well. So um, let's just go back. So if I go here and go in here, you'll be able to see. So there are, although there's loads of games on here, there are a few where you get this Super Metroid and then you get different versions of the game, um, which is pretty cool. Some of them are really good, some of them not so good on those. That's only with a couple of games, mainly Mario and Metroid. And then there's loads. Just There's just so many games on here. All the Star Wars games, Street Fighter. There's just Super Turrican's great. And the Super Cut Turrican and Super Turrican 2, really good games. Um, so many good games on here. Um, it's difficult to um, show you all of them because there's just too many. So I'm not going to actually bother. Unfortunately, not all the Final Fantasies are on there. We've got Mystic Quest 2 and 3, but yeah, not all of them, all the Final Fights. But there is there is a bucket of games on here. There's around, like I said, four or 500 total between SNES and Mini 
NES or mini SNES and mini NES. Yeah. So if you can get you get one with a load of games on, I highly recommend it. Uh, really, really good value for money. I've got my thing a bit wonky here, but never mind. You get the idea. And um, yeah, really pleased. Really good value for money. I think it's about seventy pounds without the games. And if you buy them off eBay. Pay an extra 20 or 30 quid someone will do it for you or you can do all the hard work yourself um if i just quickly show you hopefully i'm going to turn it off excuse my messy background i've got the ironing board and all sorts in the way so if i take out my usb stick turn it back on we should in a minute he says in about a minute or yeah, so it's loading back up and we should get the NES game. Sorry, I've got a bit of a wonky TV. So there you go. Yep. Yeah, so got all the NES games now. And there's just a whole bunch of those as well. If I go to that, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not about 13 files worth so again there is an unreal amount to get your teeth into and uh, yeah well worth investing one of these really good value for money and um, try and get one from a reliable seller if you're going to get it preloaded with tons of games like I've done and that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've got one of these or you're still thinking about getting one. And um, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.